that I could stand right here and film this, and now you're kicking me out. I've been standing here for how long? I'm moving, I'm moving. They kicked me out for nothing because I'm standing there. So where's the overflow? Do you have a chair? If you, don't, if you don't have a seat. I mean, I stood there for an hour. Do you have a seat for yourself? Yes. Okay, if your dad is sitting there, how many chairs do you have? One or two? Now, do you have a seat for yourself? Plus your father. My father was saving the seat. You sure you have one? Okay, if not, we're going to ask you to leave. Okay. God, I stood here for over an hour, and now i got to leave. I flew all the way from Utah for this You can have a chair. You, you didn't say seat. that to me. I asked if I could put up my camera right there, and you guys told me, yeah. No, we're not throwing you out. There's an overflow room that you yeah, can watch everything that's going on. They're going to defer to me to ask the question. If I could put my life over in PDF, I understand that. You have to understand fire marshal regulations. I understand. Trump, everybody I, else I understand, understand that. I do so understand So if we that. shut down the venue, everybody's going to be I hear you. Yeah. Okay, but so please I asked. I know, and I did. And I asked you. And I, I said, respect you. I said, if you grab a chair, you can stand oh. over there. Oh, I didn't if hear you, you say that. Well, you may you have got, said that. That could be my fault. You have to listen. Okay. And I may have. Okay, and sir. I may have. I know that what I said. I know what I said. Okay, sir. All right. So where's the overflow room? Right across the way. Right there where the rest of the people are going. There's tons of chairs. Well, let me tell you. I hope that... It's not right, we don't have an accident. My father was, a, I grew up on Pendleton. My father was a Marine, Special Force Marine. You would get a big new drill so I spent my whole life on breaking there. I'm fighting for my life. I was given two months to live 16 months ago. I, I, Cassie's going to defer to me. They flew me all the way from Utah. Just to speak. If they want to come and get you, that's no. fine. I mean, okay. I've got two people in my family with cancer, sir, so well, you're not the only one with family problems. I hear you, but right? the whole thing, to stand there for an hour and then well, kick no, me well, out. Like I said, my instructions are very clear. If you have a chair, you can stand next then to you the chair. the whole time. You kicked me out. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what? Punk ass break. <laughs> Fucking lion sucker. They kicked me out. Chicken shit fuckers. Hey, just so you know, right. the NRC, I'm parked up there. I've been flown clear in from Utah, full of leukemia. I stood there, asked the police, can I stand here and do videotape? Yeah, they wait for the whole thing, then they kick me out. And I'm scheduled to speak in there. They flew me all the way from Utah to speak. I fight for my life with leukemia. And then they kick me out after I stand there the whole time. I asked them. I said, I'm videotaping this meeting. Did they say why? It's just fire marshal. I said, I've been standing here the whole time, right here in the press row. Where's your press pass? I said, no, I told you I didn't have a press pass now. I'm a blogger. And so, you know, what a dog and pony show this is. I mean, it's obscene. It is obscene. Well, you know, they wait this whole time, then kick me out. Wow.